For me, I really like the dark colors. Oh, such nice detailing. The smell is cool. Everything is cool in this car. Maybe this one? Can you see? The logo, everything. The, the idea behind the uh, Tesla Van Limited one was, was quite simple, but uh, make uh, something very new in the, in the genre of uh, racing games. Usually in a racing game, it's uh, uh, select your car, select your circuits, three, two, one, go. The idea was to play in a big, huge world, an open world with other players online. I mean, that was a big game. It was like 1,600 kilometers of road in that one. In fact, we still have like 180,000 logins every single month to that game. It's like four years old, we haven't released any DLC for two and a half years. People would come back every single day and play it. Uh, and this, I think, is what we achieved uh, in uh, the first test drive. With this game, we've really just exploded everything that was great about that game, looked at how people played that game and done a whole lot more that we just know that nobody else is talking about. So the whole social side of things really came out of what we were seeing players do in the original game. Community, online play, all the effort on doing this even better than the first one. It's not a question of uh, uh, selecting really uh, complicated things. It'd be great if we could kind of bring all that back into the game. It's about being immersed. Being able to live the life of somebody who can afford to buy these cars, who can afford to drive these cars. So it's everything around it as well as I mean, the houses, it's the yachts, it's the beautiful people, it's all the things you do with that lifestyle. For me, it was really the possibility to develop the social aspects of the game. Really, how can players be together and play this incredible game in this open world with the beautiful cars. Now you can go walk around, look at the car, talk with your friends because it's fully online, and talk about how great are those cars. This is the same console that we have uh, six years ago, so uh, we have to make a bigger game. So what we have made, for example, is to add their night cycles, it's to add weather, real-time cast shadows, things that makes the game even more realistic. And on top of that, you have the whole beautiful location, these beautiful islands of Ibiza and Oahu in Hawaii. Uh, when we uh, were looking for a new area for the game, uh, we wanted a real setting. And we were talking of all that elements, what would be cool, what is high life, talk about money, talk about beautiful cars, talk about parties, and we all look each other and we just think Ibiza is the right place to do that. We had a contact over there basically, uh, a guy called um, Rafa, who's a lawyer on the island, works with the government, is a big, big gaming fan, got in contact with us, said one of the things he does is work with the local government to promote the island. He loved the first game, he's heard that this next one is going to be on Ibiza, is there anything he can do to help? So we got, you know, Pasha in there, we got um, Privilege in there, uh, and they're looking great. It's just so cool to be able to jump into your Ferrari and drive up to the front of the club and hang out, it's just awesome. We've also worked with a very renowned DJ, um, which is Paul Oak Fold. and it was fantastic to have him into the game and make the uh, music for our intro. Making this game, on the journey of making this game, I've been a, a tough and a really difficult one, but I think it was worth it. I remember that in the development of TDU1, many of the developers, when they were debugging the program, they start to play, they start to drive, and sometimes they spend 15 minutes just driving and asking what I was making, what I was searching for in the game. This is the magic of, of TDU. I feel excited. We've listened to you, and we're still listening to you, and we want to do the game that you dream of playing. And we still have this really cool pleasure of being just driving on the island for hours and meeting people. Um, we don't think there's anything else quite like it out there. Nothing really with that big, open, huge environment, all the licensed cars and the whole lifestyle stuff. And that's the, the thing that makes me say that uh, we reach our objective on test drive. We're really looking forward to seeing everybody there. <laughs>